Caprice is celebrating its fifth year in existence. We have prepared some visuals, so let's go back to 2002 and have a look. to hand over to uh, Minister Ben Gubani to go ahead, in fact, with the solitary ceremony. This is a symbolic uh, function, uh, and in fact, you'll know, we'll see, you'll we'll hear later about this. On behalf of Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital, uh, I want to express my gratitude for our collaboration and for our and to express our continued commitment to helping to build and sustain what will become Africa's premier research center. We were just notified that we've been given our collaboration here at the University of Natal and the Nelson Mandela School of Medicine has just been awarded a seven million rand uh, grant to begin to develop ways to use antiretroviral therapies as a way to treat patients and as a way to boost immune responses and help the body fight the disease. I think it's an interesting building and it's an exciting opportunity. Phase one was completed in December. It's just a great uh, We're currently uh, busy with phase two of the MRI uh, development. Caprisa is a dynamic organization made up of dynamic people. Yes, I want to speak in good morning. Good morning, Prof. It's been a wonderful opportunity to be part of Caprisa from its inception, from the grant writing uh, start of it and then setting it all up and just wonderful to see it all grow at such an enormous speed and yeah, just a great opportunity. What's great about working at Caprisa is the environment. People are friendly um, for the majority of the time you feel like a family. It's a comfortable working environment. We have nice offices nice place to work. What's motivating about working with Slim is how hard he works. He's quite inspiring because we know that he's up till like 2 or 4 in the morning answering emails. Even when he's moving around all over the place, we know that he's always working hard, that this is his passion. So he inspires us in terms of how passionate he is about Caprice and the work that we do. I'm happy to work here. 
And this is where Slim's gold is kept. There is no doubt that we are facing a global crisis in the age of death. Not only is the problem of HIV a medical one, but it is affecting the fundamental fabric of our society. And given the nature of the burden of this disease in sub-Saharan Africa, the onus is on us as researchers within this environment to make the contribution necessary in contributing to the global efforts to control HIV. Good morning, Slam. Rod here. Uh, today's the big day. Congratulations to you and Carisha for a magnificent job over these past five years in uh, leading and developing the Caprisa program. I wish I was there with you and the team. And by the way, congratulations to all on the team, who, who, many who have contributed uh, to the success of, of CIPRA over the last, of the CAPRISA program over the last five years. Uh, this is uh, uh, indeed a landmark, uh, five, five years is a long time, and uh, tonight, uh, and uh, tonight my time, uh, morning year time, uh, it's interesting to look back to what it was like five years ago as you were, uh, as we were getting ready to fund this CIPRA program. Remember, we had the whirlwind visit to uh, to to uh, Durban and to Volendela, then our trips to Cape Town, and then up to Johannesburg, and and the trip out to the mines at uh, Orkney. Very interesting times, and I remember one anecdote. Uh, we had done the our talk so many times that uh, we were talking about switching. Uh, I would give your talk, and you would give my uh, NIH talk. Uh, I don't think we ever did that, but it, I'm sure we both could have ended up doing it. The, uh, the, the, also, the interesting time uh, when, uh, after the funding was uh, ready to go, uh, we had that very interesting talk in Barcelona at the uh, AIDS meeting. And if you remember, uh, that was the time that uh, you were doubting whether the program would go because of some of the changes at the University of Natal, but I think I, I did my duty and talked you out of uh, that move, and you went on with the program, and you never stopped to, to look back. So very interesting times, very successful research, getting those protocols into the field, uh, the Caprisa 001 and 002, seemed to take forever, more than two years, way too long, but they finally did get into the field and were uh, incredibly successful as now shown by the publications that are coming out over the last uh, several years. So uh, given all that and the success of, of your program and, and really looking forward to the next five years of Caprisa and many more successes, I once again want to congratulate you for all of your hard work in putting that program together, bringing all of those very successful and, and talented investigators uh, together to, to uh, do the research. But it was your leadership that was crucial in uh, bringing uh, this program to uh, its success that it has now. And again, I wish you much more over the next five years. I wish I was with you uh, and your team today. Enjoy yourselves uh, on this happy day, and uh, I'll be hoping to see you in, in Durban uh, later this fall. So have a good day, enjoy it, uh, and uh, take a little pride in yourself and, and your team, for this uh, has clearly been a very successful operation. Talk to you later, Slim, goodbye. This is Rod Hoff reporting from Singapore. It's been such
such a privilege to be able to work at Capri Sabul and Lela and the wonderful partnerships that we've had from community. And I really, really believe that that's been grounded in the way one is able to take science forward. The program has really grown. A number of studies have been conducted here. And yes, we've been inundated with visitors from Brad Pitt coming from Hollywood to a number of US ambassadors. And really, it's not about Capri Sabul and Lela, but it's about this community that has come on board and recognized that working with others, we all can make a difference. I started working for Capri Science in 2002 as a general assistant. Uh, from there, when, when I started Capri I was still with a group of three people. It was I, Janet, and Getswana.
the same way, I'm a driver for Caprisa. My job at Caprisa is very important, as one of my core functions is to make sure that the data gets to our head office. I'm very busy now, I can't talk on the score. Great about working at Caprisa is um, it offers you a lot of uh, growth opportunities and developmental and, and training opportunities as well. And uh, in addition to that, um, the teams that have uh, come together over the years, uh, you know, we've grown together, so we know each other really well. We work together really well, um, and you know, we understand each other. So we know where we all want to go. We have a common goal, and we all tend to work really hard in achieving that common goal. what I do because I love working with patients, I love the service that we provide under this clinical trial. There's a lot of exposure, it's an international trial and the service that we provide is excellent. Caprisa is celebrating its fifth year in existence. We have prepared some visuals, so let's go back to 2002 and have a look. This was not good. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Caprisa is celebrating its fifth year in existence. We have Aibo, Jesus Christ. Caprisa.
Kisa is celebrating its fifth year in existence. We have prepared some visuals, so let's sit back and The visuals, some visuals. Prof, I want to tell you something. The cameraman switch off the freezers to put his lights on. How come you guys are still here doing this? 